Dad and I are getting ready to take a quick jaunt in the world, and I'm going to ask Heidi the question. Heidi, you want to go for a ride? Oh, did you hear me? Do you know what that means, don't ya? Heidi, come here. You want to go for a ride with us? Do you want to go for a ride with us? Oh, go find Daddy. We'll go. Can you tell she knows that word? Oh, here she comes again. What? Oh. We're going to go take a quick ride. Get up on the bed. Come up here. Come up here. Hi there. Come here. Hi there. Oh. How you doing? How you doing? Say hi to Stefan. Hi, Stefan. Or Stefan. Hi, Johnny. You like Johnny too, don't you? She's all excited about taking a ride. Huh? Huh? Yeah. She's such a baby. And then you have Wingnut down here. Hi there, kitty cat. She's like a doo doo doo. Oh, we're gonna go. Yes, we're gonna. Oh, you're pathetic. You're so pathetic. Say hi to Lizzie. Say hi, Lizzie. I wanna get your belly. I wanna get your belly. That's what Lizzie tried to get her to do the other day. Don't lick your butt on camera. It's not polite. The cat does that enough already. No, 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 la butt licking. Are you, are you sad? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. All right, let's go, come on, let's go. Someone's eagle eyeing for her daddy. Who's in there talking to the auto parts dude? Yes. Hi ho. He'll be back. We had to come get something for the RV, which is fixed now and running. So that's good. My cousin came and put the parts on yesterday. Now that it's warm. And uh, Dad's like, well, let's hurry and get back because at 1:30 he watches wants to watch the race. And it's 12.50 right now, so we get in the car, he goes, okay, take me to Advance Auto. So apparently I'm a taxi cab now. And Heidi's just along for the ride, aren't you? Hi, Heidi Ho. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. And she lays right on my arm here. All right. That's about all we can do. Bye-bye. Yeah, we're on the road again. We stopped home briefly. Let the dog in there. She probably none too happy, but that's life. Now I'm following Dad and his camper out to... Oh, some people want a little dog. Out to my cousin's house. We're dropping it off out there. My cousin's going to change the oil filters and the... I don't know what oil he's going to change. Oil. Tune up, air up the tires. All that good stuff. So... And uh, my dad, not too bright, had a, the chipmunks are what really made the camper not work. It chewed up a couple wires in there. You know, first, cute, ah, uh, cute. Now, he hates them. But uh, they have a hole right by our house to go down and where they live. And he put some mothballs down there. And now, the whole <laughs> side room reeks of mothballs. And as soon as I hit it, it gives me a headache. I hate that smell. It just, ugh, it's horrible. And I come out, I'm like, Dad, you're going to have to suck those mothballs out from the hole or something because it's stinking out the whole side of the house. So, because he can't smell it. You know, he don't have the smeller that I do. So, he totally left the step down on the thing. Yeah, he's driving along with a step out. Hmm. So, he's going to get his like shot back and suck the mothballs out of the hole. 
I said, put some decon down there or something. Not something that's going to intoxicate us too. Uh, so yeah, now we're going over the river. Oh, you can't see it. It's 65 degrees and lovely. Oh, there's the pretty side of the camper. Him and this mural. He's like a traveling mural. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of a kind, people. Oh, one of a kind. And now I'm going to go. I'll probably say something when Dad's in the car because I'm giving him a ride back. So my cousin's going to keep it for a... Excuse me. My goodness. If you did. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to talk about. Last night, I watched a movie that I hadn't watched since the 80s. And I remember as a kid, because I was probably only 12 or 14 years old when it came out, I thought it was kind of neat. And now I watch it, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? It was Xanadu. That movie is just freaking bizarre. Uh, <laughs> it just, you wonder what? They were on drugs when they made that movie. It, I watched it and I'm like, what was I thinking? It's so bad, it's corny. And I'm like, well, you know, they're animated in one little spot and they're fish and turn to birds. And, and then the, they roller skate around the sound stage and, and Gene Kelly dances with, uh, oh. what? That was odd. And I'm going to try to remember, Dan, to use your outro. Dan made me an outro for this channel, and he also made Lizzie and I one for the Dizzy Dreamers channel, and I keep forgetting to use them because I never have intros or outros, people. He did make me an intro for the next time I do a cooking thing, Dad. But, um, so, it'll be at the end of this one. And, uh... I'm not used to asking people to rate or comment, but it's a cute little outro. It's just a little thing, so uh, look for that. All right, I'm going now. Talk long enough. We're going back to my cousins. This is my cousins where the cops came to. I, I haven't heard. I'll have to ask Dad if he's heard anything more about the dead dude. Mona sitting on the porch. His girlfriend. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, What's the update? Well, they they got the other guy. His name was Liska. I don't know his first name. And then there's another guy, Mark said, but I forgot his name. But they got two more guys involved in it. I don't know what the statistics are, but have they arrested them? Uh, hey, here's the shoe tree. I know I'm easily distracted. We got to bring shoes out here before leaves come. Oh yeah, I got shoes too to put up there. Okay. Okay, go back to the dead guy. <laughs> yes. well, I don't know. I don't know if they arrested him or not. Have they ever come and talked to Bart anymore? No. No. So he's all out of it now. Well, he don't know yet. He don't know yet. He, you know, he, he bought, he told them where all the stuff was that were sold, you know, and that. Yeah. And uh, so he helped his cause, but he didn't, well, he didn't know it, but he bought the stuff. The guy was dead, you know. Yeah. Nothing about it, so. We're going to find out here pretty soon. Yeah. What's going on? Now we're heading home along the river. The river. Well, we're not to the river yet. Oh, well we will be soon, though. Now we're at the river. It's a little high. How did you used to fish when you were young? What? Tell me what how you did it. I walked You're... all along these banks to fish for bluegills and that. Right there's a powerhouse over there. That's where I used to get a lot of fish out of that powerhouse. And, and how did you make your fishing poles? Made out of sticks. Use us used a uh, spark plugs for sinkers never had no money find a rock with a hole in it or anything I could get I fished all the time yeah Caught a lot of fish down here I can't believe how high the water is there's the dam over there yeah the dam's rolling we used to slide down that dam years ago when we was kids that's crazy I know he was crazy <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the story you told me when you made Phil go first to see if he'd get yeah, hurt? I pushed him down first, make sure he never got killed, and I tried it. <laughs> what a friend. <laughs> <laughs> what are well, friends for? What would you have done if you would have got hurt? Well, I would have just called the 911, I guess. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, they built this pier, oh, what, four or five years ago? This yeah, little uh, landing? For fishing. Yeah, they have little pole things up there you can stick your poles in and... Um, 
this place. We used to go fishing right here along the shore when I was a kid quite a bit. Yeah. But okay, now we're going to go home. Later. Bye-bye. <laughs>